stop corruption. Stop, stop corruption. The message, say no to corruption, every no counts. As the Integrity Commission was joined by the Alliance of Evangelical Churches, the Conference of Churches, and schools across the island. Experts say despite efforts by government and other agencies, the issue of corruption remains a serious concern, highlighting a recent Al Jazeera report where it was alleged that government officials in the Caribbean, including Grenada, are involved in a passport scheme. However, despite those concerns, Chairperson of the Integrity Commission, Anandi Trotman Joseph, says they are now focused on reframing the narrative of corruption. That's the theme, unite together against corruption, knowing that we are reframing our narrative, letting us all know that to become persons of integrity, this is an inside job. It is constant and it is continuous, no matter what our ages are. It may mean for some of us that we take a right turn, a left turn. For others, it might be a 180 degree turn or for others yet a 360 degree turn. Transparency International in its 2019 Global Corruption Barometer showed that citizens in the region remain unsatisfied with their government's performance against corruption. More than half think corruption is getting worse in their country and that their government is doing a bad job at tackling it. The churches represented on Friday say they too are concerned about the issue of corruption in Grenada. Vice Chair of the Alliance of Evangelical Churches is Joachim Philip. We believe that we have an opportunity to say that we want justice, peace, we want love. And going into 2020, we believe the climate and the atmosphere should be one where people respect each other. Uh, persons are interested in valuing of life and valuing our children, valuing the system and even valuing our institutions. And so we say corruption must be stamped out as a, as a church, as a body. The Your No Kongs campaign is a joint international campaign created by the United Nations Development Programme and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime to mark International Corruption Day, December 9th, and raise awareness about corruption and how to fight it. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.